he has his version of events, I guess. I mean, I, I think I was pretty clear in how I laid out uh, how I felt, uh, what happened, uh, how I perceived the interaction. So, I mean, that's, that's where I'm at. Um, do you accept his apology? It was sort of an apology, but a denial of, of the substance of your accusation. I mean, how do you accept someone's apology when they deny the facts of what happened? Right? Um, heartfelt apology, um, acknowledging the facts of what happened and the interaction of how it happened and how it shouldn't happen, how it can't happen, ever, L let alone in this building, uh, outside this building as an elected official. Uh, I mean, I, I think I made it pretty clear. I'm a big guy. I'm a strong guy. I can handle myself. Uh, but to have that happen in here is... Um, I don't even know what to say. Oh, Mr. Tudu said that this was an NDP sponsored event and there was an NDP banner at the event. Uh, you said in response that hey, there should have been banners for, for, the, for the other parties. Um, do you think that the NDP had made it before this event? Should it have been? You can, you can answer that question yourself, Ian. You ju I think you just said the answer, right? I mean, didn't you? We all, we also, I wholeheartedly, with joy, supported the Turban Bill. I thought it was absolutely amazing. And the member from Burroughs, um, am I allowed to say his name out here? Yeah. Sorry, Diljeet Bar, uncle, I call him. Uh, loved, loved it, loved it. Uh, we all supported it unanimously. The, the whole, everyone, PC, Liberal, NDP. Um, so I, I think you answered the question yourself. And my comments were that we all supported it. Uh, this is bigger than party politics. This is provincial. This is national. This is across the world. When all parties can work together, um, representation matters in all aspects, right? Not just color of people, sex, gender, orientation, parties. I was there. Do you believe that this, uh, because the uh, incident did not happen in the chamber, do you believe it will be a matter of privilege? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, a, that's, that's before the speaker now. Uh, so the speaker will rule on if it's a matter of privilege. Um, I don't have any comment to that other than uh, I wholeheartedly felt that was the earliest opportunity I could bring it up. Um, Maybe I could have brought it up as soon as the session started, but I wasn't in the head space or physical space. As people saw from my ministerial statement, I was significantly delayed and emotional during that on a joyous ministerial statement. So I had to take a pause, reset, and it was at my earliest time I could present it. So it's before the speaker, and uh, we'll wait to hear what the speaker says. Good afternoon, folks. I just wanted to come and respond to some of what took place in uh, the chamber, as well as uh, earlier today. So at the noon hour, we had a, a great uh, cult cultural and community event here uh, to celebrate uh, Turban Day. And so I want to acknowledge uh, my colleague Diljeet Brar for his important work on this topic to educate Manitobans and to help celebrate uh, the Sikh faith uh, community. Uh, as you've no doubt heard later on, uh, Mr. Khan and I had a conversation. He had made some partisan commentary from the stage at this community event. And so when he approached me to shake my hand later on, I uh, told him that I did not appreciate the partisan commentary that he was making. And uh, when the issue was raised later on this afternoon in the chamber, I said I apologize because our exchange was tense. Probably wasn't the time or place. Um, mia culpa, if I had the opportunity to do it again, I simply should have told Mr. Khan, you know what, didn't appreciate some of what you had to say. Can we find some time later on today to address these concerns? So, I wanted to start with those comments. Happy to take uh, any and all questions. It's a, it's a heck of a discrepancy between the two recollections. You're, you're saying there was no swearing and nothing physical. Yeah. That's right. Like, w we shook hands. It was a tense exchange because, you know, I said I did not appreciate the partisan commentary that he was bringing to what was otherwise a very positive community event. And, uh, you know, Mr. Khan made uh, his assertion later on in the chamber. And, but no, there was no name calling or any of the other things that uh, he's alleging. So you do acknowledge though that the 
uh, interaction was not appropriate? Well, I think the interaction uh, was tense because there was a back and forth over the partisan commentary. And uh, in hindsight, I think at such a positive community event, I should have simply said, hey, we need to chat. Let's find an opportunity to do so later on today. So there's no profanity, no physical death grip and shoving or anything like that? No. Again, the name calling that was alleged, you know, this is not a profanity laced tirade. Um, the words were about, I do not appreciate the partisan comments being made. We took a chance to do uh, a step on the high road by inviting somebody from the PCs to speak at an event that we were organizing. You all know that this typically does not happen at legislative events. And so I said, you know, we took a step in this direction. I didn't appreciate the partisanship. Was there a type of hand that you pulled him in and go through Well, I leaned in to speak to him. I guess uh, I would say that, and it was to let him know that I didn't appreciate the partisan commentary that was being brought to an otherwise very positive and very successful event. Talk about this being a nonpartisan event. Why throw an NDP banner behind the speakers? You know, Avi Khan was in front of an NDP banner the whole time, yeah. which is a, a visual you don't see. Uh, if this is truly a nonpartisan event, why why put your banner there? Well, I think everybody in the legislature uses their signage for the events that they host here. And so us using our backdrop is no different than a government using uh, the blue sign or blue backdrop that you'll see them use. This isn't the first time there's been um, concerns over physical uh, you know, altercations between MLAs of different uh, political stripes. What is your assessment of what's happening in um, this building today that we're coming we're at a point where people are concerned or expressing concern about their safety across uh, party lines yeah I think it's a it's really important that everyone feels safe when they come to work especially at the Manitoba legislature uh, but uh, I've uh, described what took place I addressed some partisan comments that Mr. Khan made at uh, an event that we hosted I told him that I didn't appreciate that the exchange became tense between the two of us uh, and um, I think it's clear that the PCs are now trying to take shots at me over that.